So we are live at Bob Proctor's house here and everyone has just got back from uh, the Matrix Phil week and we are now at his beautiful home and we're just going to take a wee walk around and get some people's ideas and opinions on how the week went. Hello. Hi. What was your favourite part of this week? Oh, that's a good question. There's been a lot of really memorable moments but I think some of the biggest things I've taken away is understanding that I have the capacity to do things much quicker than I first anticipated. So originally I'll set myself a goal and say, oh, five years, five years, yeah, yeah, we'll do it then. And after spending time in the energy of such incredible people, that I'm like, well, hang on a second, I can do this in a year. And stopping myself from comparing to the results of others. So I think a huge thing is realizing that my, my own potential is myself and not comparable to regardless even the people who I might have valued in a slightly higher, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. in, a, in a place which is they're like they've achieved more, so maybe they know more, but actually understanding that my own value comes from within and stopping myself to say, hang on a second, they've got their own paradigms. Yeah. And that's cool because we're also individual in what we've achieved and what we are going to achieve and what we've been through. So that's been fantastic. Awesome. The second thing I love is the people. <laughs> wow, there's been magnificent energy. I've had quite a few friends who've gone through the matrix. And when they spoke to me, I was a little bit like, mm -hmm. you know, I just wasn't necessarily ready. But it's one of those things which you really have got to actually experience. You can't base it on what people tell you. So that's why they probably didn't say too much. But that's a good thing. Yeah, awesome. Also, we have a full family here. I love it. What's it like to be here with your family or your mom and your brother? Very helpful and very good. You know, we're talking to each other every time, like every night. Mm -hmm. So they're very helpful with me and getting my goals, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Awesome. So I love to be here with my family. Yeah. And next time, going to bring more, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think this will do for your family? You know, get better jobs, change their lives, mm -hmm. get their dream job, mm -hmm. get more money, help other people, which is our dream. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you. do you think you've got any closer to your mom and your brother? Really, I really do. Got closer to my brother, you know. We have been friends for a long time, of course, we're family, but we're talking better to each other now. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. What's it like to be here with your kids? I think it's, it's great. Yeah, it's just to be a, in a family, you know. So when we come back home, we have each other. And we can talk and we can discuss what we experience in Matrix. I think it's great, it's awesome. Sum up the matrix in one word. Enlightening. Transforming. I feel transformed. I feel like new, I'm a new person. What are you gonna implement going home? So I had this thing come to me to stop playing small and to play big, and that's my new thing, I'm playing big. Playing it all big. What about yourself? So as soon as I get home, I'm going to email Paul Reiser's assistant and give him my pitch for the sitcom. Ah. I'll be implementing that as soon as I get home. Great work. Yes. Fantastic. What are you going to implement after this week at The Matrix? I want to write my book. I came to The Matrix with that goal, but I wasn't sure if it is exactly the goal I wanted. And I thought it will be clear after I finished The Matrix, and it was. Um, I want to write about my story after I lost my husband, he died three years ago, and I like was able to get back up on my feet and do life without visiting therapists or taking any antidepressants, and then I found Bob, and he saved my life emotionally and everything, so I'm going to share all that in it, and I started painting after my experience, so it's going to be an art book with my story, and I'm going to share stories of other people to show how they dealt with loss and got back up on their feet also, so that's my goal. Did you feel lots of love in the Matrix this week? Oh, lots of love. I bonded with a lot of people and I feel like we I became best friends with many of them and yeah, the atmosphere was beautiful. Some of you in like a couple of sentences. Me? Um, Swedish girl, 28 years old, big dreams, big goals and after Matrix, um, I have such big goals that I even, I didn't thought it was possible. Um, and I've created like vision that feels so real 
that it's yeah it feels unreal everything but it's surreal yeah are you the same girl that you came in no 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 like the first three days it was so much confusion but after day three everything was just so clear like now I understand what he's talking about and now I can just take a decision yeah and would you say now you have a clear plan to get exactly what you want yes yes I do hi bye <laughs> hello hey how are you I'm so good how are you what's it like to be here in Bob's I love it it's so so awesome awesome yeah and how would you sum up the matrix in one word Oh my god, can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's amazing. Good. Yeah. And what's one biggest takeaway? One biggest takeaway. Anything is possible. Oh, what's so that? what's it like to be just sitting on Bob Proctor's sofa? Oh my god, this is like so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like but he's like a normal person, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's just like I come here and I kind of expected him to live like in this secluded area in this castle, you know, and you come in here and it's like it's just a cool little home and yeah. it's so homey and yeah, I love it. Extraordinary, uh, normal man with extraordinary information. What's that? He's a normal man with extraordinary I know, information. Oh, right? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And he always says, I'm just Bob. And we're all like, but you're Bob, you know? And then you come to his home and you're like, yeah, he's just like, yeah. he's like a cool guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. Was it worth the investment coming? Oh my God, 110%. I can't believe it. You know, it's such a change from Monday to today and mm -hmm. the energy and like I have a plan now. And yeah. That's what I came here for. So, yeah. Awesome. So what was the Matrix like for you? Oh, it was such a great event. I've been studying Bob for the biggest part of 15 years now and I felt like I was putting everything into practice. Um, but I just wasn't making the quantum leaps that I was looking for. And so I thought the only thing I haven't done is going in person. And so um, I'm here and all these things that didn't make sense, just like at the end, I get to ask him the question. You, you always say, I put it on the paper and I say, is it in me or is it on the paper? And I listened to that maybe a hundred times and it never made sense to me. And then he said it to me in person and now it finally clicks. So um, just such a wonderful thing to actually experience. You know, for anybody that's having those hard times of saying, man, it, I keep practicing this, it doesn't work. Uh, in person it changes. Would you say that being here in person is really different than kind of watching it online or reading a book? Does it kind of get into your subconscious more? Or what does making it click mean? So I did online. Uh, I watched the last event online and I found myself partially paying attention maybe. I had no accountability. Yeah. And so here you definitely have 100% accountability. You know, you're invested, you're here, the, the power is here, and it is a total different experience. Would you say that your vibration has lifted a lot this week? 100%. I am flying high, vibing high, 100%. Love it, yeah. love it. And if you were to sum up the Matrix in one word, what would you say? Magic. So as soon as I signed up for the Matrix, I was paired up with a consultant, Bill. Yeah. Great guy. Great guy. And he told me to put down my goals on a little on a little piece of paper. Well, I had post-it notes, and so I put my, this little post-it note inside my phone where I keep my debit and credit card, which I will admit I go to a little too often. Mm -hmm. And every time I would pull this up, this little post-it would come up with it, and I'd tuck it back in. And I am happy to say that most of the things that were written on this post-it note when I signed up for The Matrix happened magically, occurred before I even came to the matrix. The moment I made the decision and made the commitment to come to the matrix, the magic started happening. And I, there's a few that will take a little longer to, to come to, like a million annually. I haven't reached the annual point yet. So I will be happy to share at the next matrix how this magically manifested through this year. Because you know, I've added in little notes there, but they, the magic just keeps happening. I could not have, have foreseen this happening. So was it worth your investment coming to the Matrix? 100%. You, that, that's the thing. We were just talking about it. I was talking about it with a friend. Is that I, would, I, I was so invested because I wanted to earn this opportunity. I invested a lot of money. Sure. Yeah, it's you know it's not a walk, you know, it's not a small amount. No matter where you are in life, it's an investment. But in order to invest 
energetically, the, the monetary value, if we count that as energy points, I am that deeply invested in my personal gro growth that now my growth is earned. It is earned. I have earned my growth. So I won't take it lightly and I won't squander it because I, I worked hard for this. Right? I, I put my money where my mouth is and where my being is and where my everything is. And what would you say to anybody else who hasn't been here? Should they come? What, what would you say to these people? I would say if you have any doubt, if you have a single doubt in your mind, even a little flutter of worry or doubt in your mind, use that. Use that. There's something about that doubt and worry, that exact doubt and worry. Whatever it is that's making you doubt and worry is the thing that's probably coming up for you in every time, every part of your life. So if, if it's time, oh, I don't have the time for that. Who's got the time? Ain't nobody got the time for that. <laughs> then probably that's the thing that is constant. If it's money, that's probably where you're shorting yourself out constantly in life. If it's uh, worry about travel, if it's worry about the investments, if it's worry about the people you meet, those are the things that are probably stopping you up in every part of your life. So you want to expand? You want to create that life of your dreams? I mean, I am, I was just in front of the world in this past week. I was in front of the world. And my goal for my life is to be in front of the world. So I was just in the microcosm yeah. of the macrocosm of what I want. Yeah. Yeah. And one last question. Would you agree that whilst we all want to earn more money, this is so much more than the physical money in the bank? Yeah, it's so funny because a lot of the things that in the world when I was telling people what I was doing, they'd say, okay, well, what's it about? And I'd give them all of those explanations. It's about expanding your growth. It's about doing the things that you want to do, those big dreams that you want. And they'd always say, well, are you earning money? Is there a return on investment? Is there, and, and if money was the, was the only way to gauge it, then sure, there's a return on investment with money. It's so much more than money though. Money is like a little, it's a, it's, even if there was no money, I would still do this. Even if the money were not an issue, I would still do this because of what it's given me in my life. But if you want to know if there's a return on investment, yeah, there's that too. Yeah. What's it like being in Bob Proctor's office? Uh, I never think of uh, I'll be here. It's uh, never think uh, in my dream. Uh, it's amazing, wonderful, wonderful. But and what are the people like that are in here? Sorry, say this again? What, what's it like being around these sorts of people? Positive energy in one word. So what was it like being here at the Matrix all week? Oh my gosh, you know, the last Matrix, it was already amazing, but this time I didn't even know what to expect, and the people that come here every time is so different, but I just, oh my god, the transformations, I'm in awe. I'm just inspired. Yeah, I'm not even tired. Six days later, I'm not tired. I'm inspired. Everybody's life and transformation is so important. It's amazing. We just want to ask you, what is the energy like in this office? really fantastic. Can you see how I feel right now? <laughs> this is fabulous. You got to get here. This is amazing. This is unreal. This is really enjoyable. I love it. Thank you. Was it worth traveling the whole way from London? I would say yes. Very surely I would. I think sometimes when we're so conditioned to know what we're going to get, so when we walk into a shop, we know we're going to purchase a product and what product we're going to get in the end, right? We go to school, we know what qualification we're going to get. We're going to go to university, we know what we're enrolling for to know what we're going to be at the end of that. But this is a true kind of play in our minds because you don't know when you step into this environment. And I myself, even though I've been really fond of the material, didn't know what to expect and I've got to admit the first few days I still didn't know what to expect but once I stopped and I allowed and I became part of it this has been sensational it's worth every single second and the people you meet and the energy that you start to co-create with is fantastic so if you if you really do love yourself and your vision and your future invest in yourself because it's worth it I'm telling you it really is when you were deciding whether to come to the matrix or not was that an easy decision or did you struggle with that decision a little bit I struggled a little bit because of the timing mm -hmm. but uh, in the end Monica my coach said well what are you waiting for I mean you are ready the rest is just 
it's not important. You're ready, so you have to come. And then I came. So it was a little bit of struggle, but it actually was, I knew myself, it was clear before. I just did not kind of commit it. And was it worth the investment? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Beyond any expectation, uh, and it will be also beyond any planning. There will be some energy released that carries and carries and carries. So it's kind of like, oh, fly, Michael, fly. And was there things that happened this week that you could never have imagined possible? Absolutely. Uh, I told everybody in the in the room on Monday. Um, I'm into world music, and I have an Indian band, or I'm the keyboarder in, a, in an Indian band, and we played songs of uh, Miss Misha Shafi. And well, I stand in the lunch break and to look to the right and look to the left and say, "Well, you know this face." And I said, this can't be. It is Misha Shafi. And I, are you Misha? Yes. Are you Misha Shafi? Yes. Why? I said, are you the singer Misha Shafi? Yes. <laughs> I had not expected to meet her. I, I did not expect to meet anybody from the music scene, but her. And she has been the benchmark in my dreams of how to promote world music. So that was absolutely one in a billion. One in a trillion. Yeah. That was. It said to me, Hey, you're on the right road. This is green light. Go. Uh, so are you glad that you trusted yourself and walked by faith and not by sight? Yes. But also I'm grateful to Monica because she said, come on, yeah. go. Yeah. That was, I, I trusted myself. Mm-hmm. Grateful for everybody that is here participating. We all, it's a good, it's a big we. Mm-hmm. It's not me, it's a we. Yeah. And this being part of that community gives you so much more energy that uh, reminds me a little bit of being on stage with the band. You look at each other, you play, and you get yourself energized, and the, the audience goes and follows. This is kind of what I also experienced this week, kind of s- growing. And now we are flying home and take it with us. So you're a fellow Irishman? I am indeed, Kim, I am indeed. Yeah, and what is it like to be over here in Toronto, away from Ireland, with these sorts of people? Oh, it's brilliant. It's, I don't want to go home, I want to stay on. Yeah. So yeah, I could do another week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what do you think this has done for your business ideas? Yeah, I think it's just going to get it to the next level. The amount of contacts I've met over here, I wouldn't meet them back in Ireland. So it's a different game when you come over here. So mm-hmm. looking forward to go back and implementing them. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been to a live event with PGI? No, first one. Okay. Would you come back? Yeah, definitely. I'll be back. I'll be back next year for the Matrix and I might throw one in in the summertime. So we'll Excellent. See how it goes. Excellent. Yeah. And f- obviously where you're from, it's a small island. What, what would you say to people back home about this sort of material and this sort of information? Do you think it's information that people from even the smallest little island need to hear? Oh, definitely, yeah. I, I think it's not taught enough. Enough people don't listen to it, so mm-hmm. it needs to be out there more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what was it like making the decision to come to Matrix? Yeah, tough, but if you're listening to his material and you're reading the books, it, it's easy. Mm-hmm. It's easier. Mm-hmm. And was it worth the investment? No, oh, definitely, yeah. For the contacts I made, definitely. And I'll recoup it many times over, so without a doubt. How did you find the week? It was incredible. It was really a good week. Do you know, every matrix is a little different. Everyone is a little different. Um, I think this was one of the largest matrix we've had. We had people from all over the world, but it was a very serious group. We have a lot of people that fell in love with what we're doing that have become consultants, which made it very special. But I would say it was, uh, it was a magic week. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And of course, it's still going on. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.